Blender spreadsheet is going to be epic. It just needs some time to mature. Alright guys, how's it going? Now I'm kinda jumping the gun just a little with this video. I've not really covered geometry nodes on the channel, and truth be told, there's actually better artists and instructors out there who can teach you about geometry nodes. You've got people like Erendale, guys like Chris P, highly recommend you check out their channel. But today I want to concentrate on the spreadsheet editor. Now, it might not sound like I'm happy, but I'm actually really ecstatic for this feature. <laughs> Now just as a quick disclaimer, Spreadsheet is still in alpha. I'm using today's daily build which is 2.93.0 alpha, so just be aware there's a lot of things still to come. So I'll give you a brief overview and I'll explain why this is so powerful. Now in order to find the spreadsheet what you can do is you can come to the tab, you can go to data and it's below the asset browser and click on spreadsheet. And you can see here it basically gives us every single bit of information regarding the object or the geometry. On the left hand side we essentially have the indices or the point numbers, you have the position of the x, y and z, this is where the point actually sits, you also have the vertex normal x, y and z, and this is going to be huge, this means we have more control when it comes to the normals over the geometry, and when it comes to a 3D application, this is a much needed feature. Now before I even begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the preferences, I'm going to go to interface and I'm going to enable the developer extras. And this means, for example, I can drop down the viewport overlay and I can actually enable the indices of the object. So for example, if I select all of the object, you can see here the indices being displayed. So this is number 5, which means this is point number 5. So if I actually select this, watch out what the spreadsheet editor does. You can actually see the values update in real time. And this is a huge advantage. This means I can tell the exact position of a point or a face or whatever inside of 3D space which means I can then later manipulate it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump into geometry nodes, I have a quick subdivide on the box, I'll jump into wireframe just to show you, and if I put the subdivision levels up, you can see here, sub D's go up. I'll quickly jump back into the spreadsheet editor, and you can see I now have a whole bunch of additional points. Now because it is an alpha at the moment, I can't just select a point here or edit a value. And this is one of the drawbacks, and this is what I'm saying by it is early days. But if you actually take a look at the design documents, you can see the potential here. Spreadsheet, an editor to debug and navigate the data in a Blender file. So essentially what you can do is, you can access any data. So if you have like a colour value assigned, you can change the colour value, stuff like this. And if you actually take a look at the final mock-up, it looks pretty damn good. And hopefully this is going to be the spreadsheet editor for Blender. And if that is the case, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, cost you absolutely nothing. Find me on Twitter and follow me on all the social media links. You know what to do. Take care.